Hello everyone. Welcome to MedMind. So today we'll be starting the topic uterine stimulants and relaxants from endocrine pharmacology. Firstly starting with uterine stimulants. They are also known as oxytocics or abortifacients. These are majorly of four types: posterior pituitary hormones, ergot alkaloids, prostaglandins, and miscellaneous. In posterior pituitary hormones, we have oxytocin and des amino oxytocin. In ergot alkaloids, we have ergometrine, also known as ergonovine, and methyl ergometrine. In prostra in prostaglandins, we have PGE two that is dinoprostol, PGF two alpha that is dinoprost. Fifteen methyl PGF two alpha is carboprost and mesoprostol and mifeprostol. Miscellaneous we have ethacridine and quinine. Firstly, starting with prostaglandins. What is the pharmacokinetics for post prostaglandins? IV is given dinoprost. Dinoprostol is given orally as well as intravaginally, and mesoprostol is given sublingually. Moving on to pharmacodynamics. It, they increase the strength of contraction. They cause cervical ripening and sensitizes uterus to oxytocin. What are the contraindications? Cardiac disorders, renal disorder, disorders, pulmonary disorders like asthma, hepatic disorders, and glaucoma. What are the adverse effects? There is a risk of fetal distress and compression, uterine rupture, vascular and bronchial constriction, tachycardia, and fever. Next, moving on to posterior pituitary hormones, that is oxytocin. Pharmacokinetics: It is in if inactive orally, so it is given intramuscularly or intravenously. It is rapidly degraded in liver and kidney. Pregnant uterus and placenta secrete an enzyme known as oxytocinase, which destroys oxytocin in maternal plasma. Because oxytocin, so then contraction will cause it, and there will be abortion. लेकिन ये हमें नहीं चाहिए तो प्रेग्नेंट यूट्रस और प्लेसेंटा दे सिक्रीट एन एंजाइम नोन एज ऑक्सीटोसिनेस व्हिच डिस्ट्रॉयज ऑक्सीटोसिन इन मैटरनल प्लाज्मा नाउ मूविंग ऑन टू फार्माकोलॉजिकल एक्शंस द रिसेप्टर्स फॉर ऑक्सीटोसिन आर जीक्यू प्रोटीन कपल्ड रिएक्शंस तो इसमें क्या होता है फॉस्फोलाइपिड सी को एक्टिवेट करता है वो इन यूट्रस यूट्रस पे ये क्या करते हैं इट इंक्रीजेस द फोर्स एंड फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ यूट्राइन कॉन्ट्रैक्शन बेजल टोल इज इंक्रीज्ड ओनली विद हाई डोज Sensitive sensitivity of uterus to oxytocin increases in the third trimester. Now, breasts, it causes milk ejection reflex and contracts the myoepithelium of mammary alveoli. In kidneys, oxytocin in high doses exert ADH-like actions. Now, what are the uses of oxytocin? Oxytocin is used for the induction of labor. Slow IV infusion is given before starting infusion. we have to make sure that there is correct presentation fetal lungs have matured there is no cpd that is cephalo pelvic disproportion no placenta previa no fetal distress and no uterine scar uterine contractions are closely monitored in this case next is uterine inertia oxytocin is used to augment contractions but should not be used to hasten the normal progressing labor matlab agar to contractions nahi ho rahi hain हमें कॉन्ट्रैक्शन को स्टार्ट कराना है तो वी कैन यूज ऑक्सीटोसिन बट अगर कॉन्ट्रैक्शन हो रही हैं तो हम उसको जल्दी कराने के लिए ताकि जल्दी कॉन्ट्रैक्शन हो जाए उसके लिए हम ऑक्सीटोसिन नहीं देते नेक्स्ट इज पोस्ट पार्टम हेमरेज और सी सेक्शन फोर्सफुल यूट्राइन मसल कॉन्ट्रैक्शन के लिए कराते हैं हम इट कंप्रेस द ब्लड वेसल्स एंड इट कैन अरेस्ट ब्लीडिंग ब्रेस्ट इंगॉजमेंट Milk let down reflex. Now, what are the adverse effects of oxytocin? Injudicious use of oxytocin during labor can lead to uterus rupture and fetal asphyxia, which can further lead to death. Large doses lead to water intoxication. Contraindications are C-section history and cephalopelvic disproportion. Next, we have is ergot alkaloids. Like ergometrine and methyl ergometrine, pharmacokinetics. Orally, there is complete absorption, but they are partly metabolized in liver, whereas oxytocin was completely metabolized in liver, and they are excreted in urine. Pharmacological actions: they increase the force, 
frequency as well as duration of uterine contractions basal tone increases with moderate dose doses also while with oxytocin high doses were required adverse effects nausea vomiting bp increase ho jata hai there is decreased milk secretion if high dose is used for many days postpartum because prolactin release inhibit ho jata hai contraindications during pregnancy and before third stage of labor sepsis liver and kidney disease vascular disease hypertension and toxemia uses they control and prevent they control as well as prevent postpartum hemorrhage after c section to ensure normal involution what are the adverse effects of all uterine stimulants uterine hyperstimulation fetal heart rate changes maternal hyponatremia uterine rupture maternal hypotension nausea vomiting and allergic reactions next moving on to uterine relaxants they are also known as tocolytics majorly four classes mein divide kiye jate hain that is adrenergic agonists calcium channel blockers oxytocin antagonists and miscellaneous drugs in adrenergic agonists we have ritodrine salbutamol terbutaline isoxuprine in calcium channel blockers we have nifedipine in oxytocin antagonists we have atosiban miscellaneous drugs are magnesium sulfate progesterone nitrates and halothenes um calcium channel blockers in nifedipine it is given orally side effect is increased heart rate or decreased pp there is decreased placental perfusion which can cause fetal hypoxia in atosiban that is oxytocin antagonist it is given iv it causes decreased cardiac and decreased metabolic complications in uk and europe it is given but in india and usa it is banned it can inhibit labor between 28 to 33 weeks miscellaneous drugs like magnesium sulfate they are used in the treatment of seizures in pre eclampsia in pre eclampsia and eclampsia now adrenergic agonists we have is ritodrine it is a beta 2 selective agonist decreases preterm labor treatment beyond 48 hours is not recommended contraindication if mother is diabetic having heart disease receiving beta blockers or receiving steroids what are the adverse effects of this on cardiovascular system it can cause hypotension tachycardia and arrhythmia metabolic adverse effects are hyperglycemia hyperinsulinemia hypokalemia fetal side fetal adverse effects are pulmonary edema now use of ritodrine to arrest labor has been found to increase the maternal mortality now what are the clinical applications of tocolytics they are used in the management of uterine irritability they are used for delaying labor they are used to control postpartum hemorrhage and they they provide relief from uterine cramps so that was all with this video i hope you like this video for more such content please like and don't forget to subscribe thank you